Winx Saga Season 2 announced sign up for free now for the biggest moments from morning TV subscribe and valid email when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any fate the Winx Saga is one of Netflix's biggest hits of the year so far the dark and magical teen drama has taken the streamer by storm and not long after the first season was released, a second season was announced. While speculation of what the new season will bring has been kicking off since the minute fans finished season 1, a new clue has merged that would give Aisha, played by Precious Mustafa, a more important role coming up. Related articles state the Wink Saga location, where is fate the Wink Saga filmed? Wink Season 2 release date, cast, trailer, plot, when is it out? Taking to Reddit to lay out their theory, one fan expressed their disappointment for how Aisha was treated throughout season 1, Aisha was done so dirty in that she wasn't really given the storyline at all, and her character wasn't much beyond the athletic good girl. It seemed like we were going to get something once she started losing control over her powers, but that storyline was quickly dismissed and never addressed again, said user General Throwaway under Season 1 revolved mostly around Bloom, Abigail Cohen, who just discovered she is a fairy after living with a human family most of her life and has now joined Althea College for fairies in order to control her powers and learn more about her. However, as the Season 2 announcement came with a promise by the producers to focus more on the other girls, the new fan theory speculates they might bring back a storyline from the original Winx Club cartoonist show. If you didn't watch the original, Aisha was the crown princess of a planet called Andros, and a lot of people were upset that the one pop character in Fate didn't get a proper storyline or even keep her royal status. But, but I think they're going to do a big reveal, due to the lack of focus on her character in this season, they guessed before outlining all the evidence to Aisha's royal status already present in, in episode 4, after Callum is killed and Aisha takes over as Miss Dowling's assistant, Queen Lunica. When Queen Luna goes to Miss Dowling's office, Aisha asks her if she needs anything, to which she responds I'm much more low maintenance than you'd imagine. How would a queen know the name of some random student beforehand, unless they had already met, as royalty? Could Aisha's real identity have been kept a secret to the other students by the school in order to protect their pupil from someone trying to target her? Another clue identified by user General Throwaway underscore involves the characters of Bloom and Stella, Hannah van der Westwissen. When Bloom loses the ring of Solaria, Stella tells her to ask her roommate how big of a screw-up that is, perhaps implying the fact that Aisha is a princess as well, who'd understand the importance. Also, a lot of the hostility coming from Stella is aimed at Aisha specifically, meaning they might have had a bad relationship with each other from before Althea. That could also explain why Aisha was warning Bloom about Stella's magic, they concluded. Another thing, however, pointed out that in the original cartoon, Aisha is not the only one to be a princess as literally all of the members of the Winx Club are fairy princess in Sky. Danny Griffin, is also himself. Admittedly, my memory of the original series is a bit dim, but I don't think that the whole most people are princesses slash prince thing could really work on a series aimed at adults, they said. The math just doesn't work. If everyone is a princess, princess of what? Your house? Maybe the block? A third user also thought it unlikely that the show would want to pursue Bloom's original storyline of all trending in a recent exclusive interview with Express.co.uk. Precious teased the gruesome power she would like to see her character use next season. I think I'd love to know if I can control water and people. I'm really interested to see if that's the thing. If we do get to do season 2, I'm gonna ask series producer Brian Young about that and see if we can play around with that. Because I think that it'd be pretty cool, said the actress. At the end of season 1, viewers left Bloom, Stella, Musa, Elisha Applebaum, Tara, Elliot Salt, and Aisha as they returned to Althea College to find Rosalind, Leslie Thorpe, had taken over as the fairies still don't know that Farah Dowling, Eve Best, is dead but with Stella's mother Queen Luna, Kate Fleetwood, showing support to Rosalind, it's likely they will need to power up their magic to be able to